Nick, where is Rebecca? Rebecca? Rebecca. Y'all talk about the hardest working person in politics in Georgia. Is our executive about this uh, brief report on the 2018 election and then she has some news to share with us. Y'all, Rebecca the Hart. Good morning. Look at this crowd. Ah, this is great. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so sorry. My mama is calling me. She's dialed me like seven times. She really wants to FaceTime right now. So let me just flip that over. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm not going to talk very long today because today is about looking forward to the future of the party and we're not going to spend a lot of time looking back on 2018 uh, because we're going to do so more later when all the data comes in and we can really dig in like we want to. We still don't even have all the data from the runoff so there's a lot to still process that will happen uh, within the first quarter here of the, D of the DPG. But I just want to go over a couple cursory things because we made a lot of history in 2018 uh, to reach voters across the state. First of all, we had such an extraordinary slate of candidates, from the top of the ticket to local. It was, um, to be very proud to work for the Democrats that, that we were able to work for. We had candidates, staff, county chairs, county committee members, state committee members, volunteers, literally working around the clock seven days a week to make sure Georgians' voices were heard, many of which had never been contacted by a campaign before. We had the largest field program in the history of the state of Georgia, with 17 field officers, 125 field organizers, 500 paid canvassers, more than 60 staging locations, and a staff upwards of 170 people. I am so proud of what we were able to put together. In my total, we actually knocked on more than 1 million doors of Georgia. millions of dollars this cycle and we have built an infrastructure that is robust enough to be able to handle what is coming down and thanks to our county committee's grassroots and grassroots engagement and new partnerships built across the state we had record level tens of thousands of new volunteers in all of your counties that were brought into our party we heard stories from voters who had never been contacted before we heard so stories from voters who had taken a break from democratic politics and now are back. And we knew that Georgia drew national attention, and it wasn't only for our amazing candidates, but it was because we had a Secretary of State who oversaw his own election, suppressed the votes, and then stole it. I know. Thanks to the vision of our chairman, the party was prepared as best we could be for what we, for what we saw, because we started um, well over a year ago the only full-time Voter Protection Program in the nation. We're so proud of this program. We actually train on it nationally, and we're helping other states build up programs just like Georgia, and people are looking to us as to how to do it. On election day alone, we received more than 9,000 calls to our voter protection hotline, and in the subsequent days following it, we received more than 45,000 calls into our hotline. Being in that office those last three days of election, I've, I've never experienced anything quite like it. And I really want to thank our voter protection team for that. We filed so many lawsuits, and every one that we filed, we won. Yeah. And the fight isn't over. Y'all have heard of a little organization called Fair Fight Action? Yeah. If you haven't, please go online and join it today. Fair Fight Action is going to lead the nation in this rebirth of our voting rights and making voting more accessible for everyone, Georgia and beyond. And while we didn't get what we wanted on our election day, our bright blue wave got us a lot closer than we ever have before. There are 14 new seats in the state legislature. <laughs> Lucy McBath is in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Love. 
and we showed the, in the nation that Georgia is a force to be reckoned with. People are talking about Georgia will be the state to go through for success in 2020, and we need to be ready for that and keep building on what we have done. As our chair said, we are not the next battleground state. The war is already here, and we're ready to fight it. On a personal note, I wanted just to let you all know, um, in case you didn't yet, that I will be leaving the party on February 15th. It was a very difficult decision, but I've been here with the chairman, and with Nikima and with the staff for five incredible years, and I am so proud. Yeah. Thank you for your friendship and support over the years. Rebuilding while we did the impossible. When I came on, there were full, three full-time employees. We've had some of the best and brightest come in and join us on the staff. And that's my parting word is please take good care of the staff when I leave. I love them fiercely. Mm -hmm. They are my family. They work harder than anyone in here knows who doesn't sit in that suite across the street. So be kind, give them lots of love, and support them. Thank you. Yes. Yes.